Hey everybody, welcome to Tech Talk with ER. I'm your host today, Steve Case. Today we're going to be talking about Keysight's data acquisition series, the DAQ970 and the DAQ973 from Keysight. These are small data acquisition systems of about 60 channels or so. And the most important thing to realize about these is operationally, of course, but the cards. When you're planning a system, you need to know how the cards work and how to use them correctly. And that's the focus of our Tech Talk today. So let's get right to it and see what the cards are like. So the Keysight DAQ970A and the DAQ973A are small data acquisition systems from Keysight. And they hold about 60 channels each on average in three card slots. Uh, the DAQ973A is new and it adds the venerable IEEE 488 or GPIB interface back into the system. It's been gone for a little bit, so it's a new addition. So one thing to point out is uh, the these DAQ data acquisition systems are follow-ons from the earlier key site and Agilent, uh, 34970 and 34972, but the cards for each ones are unique and they're not cross-compatible. So let's take a look at the cards. First card we're going to look at is the DAQM901A. This is uh, similar to the Legacy 34901A card. It's a 20 channel multiplexer, which is using read relays. And this is the one that you want to use for thermocouples. It has a thermal offset on those, on those relays of zero microvolts as the stated spec. It's probably very, very low, so they put it at zero. These cards have a necessary built-in cold junction reference. This is what you absolutely have to have for thermocouples. There's 20 uh, scanning channels for your thermocouples, and they have some additional channels for current measurements. This card can scan at 80 channels per second. It's relatively slow in the, in the data acquisition world, and that's because the channels need time to settle. Every time you change a, a read relay, you need some settling time, so the maximum speed is 80 channels per second. You can measure other things on it. It has a maximum voltage of 300 volts, uh, with a current of, of 1 amp, which is pretty good. The next card we'll take a look at is DAQM902A. This is a 16-channel multiplexer, uh, which is also read relays. This channel scans a little bit faster, 250 channels per second. You can use it for thermocouples, but take a look at the spec down there. Thermal offset less than 4 microvolts. So it's not an ideal situation for accurate thermocouples. You want to have that thermal offset as low as possible. But if you're using this 16-channel uh, multiplexer in a system, uh, you could use it for thermocouples. It does have cold junction uh, reference, but it would kind of be like a backup. Uh, you might want to use this for uh, four-wire uh, measurement situations also. It's very good. The next card up is the DAQM903A. This card is a 20-channel actuator general purpose switch. This card is used when you want to drive loads external from the system. So if you want to light up a light, close a relay, uh, this uh, card can take up to 300 volts and pass a current of 1 amp. So you can drive a lot of different things with it. Uh, even if you had heavier loads, of course, you might want to drive another relay, which drives the additional load. But it's a Form C uh, actuator, which is good. It's not a Form A, it's Form C. So you have both sides of the, the switch are, are able to be used. So you could actually do a little bit of power routing if you uh, need to do that. It has a pretty low thermal offset too, so can't use it for thermocouples. There's no reference junction, so this is just a general purpose switch card. The next card we have here is the DAQM904A. This is a 4x8 matrix with actual hard relays. So this card is, is good. Usually you see cards like this in larger systems, but in a small little data acquisition system like this from Keysight, it's it's very pleasant to have this because you can do different things. You could actually route uh, four power supply voltages to eight points on a board, or you could route four instruments to eight different um, uh, signals out on the in the system. Uh, so it's very handy for that type of use to, to route for signal routing. It does have a good voltage rating, 300 volts with a current of 1 amp again, and uh, low thermal offset, so that's good. Can't use it for thermocouples again, no reference junction. So here's a card that can uh, do some RF switching for you. This is the DAQM905A. 
it's a dual four channel RF multiplexer. So you could take uh, two channels and multiplex them to, to four different uh, places each. This one's 50 ohms. It has a thermal offset that's rated there, but that's not so important for your uh, RF signals. And uh, the, the bandwidth on these switches is two gigahertz, which is pretty good for uh, most uh, low level uh, RF signals that you'll, that you'll find. So you can use it for that. Only problem is this card does not come in 75 ohms. There is no DAQM906. Uh, maybe it's in planning, uh, but with the 75 ohms not being as popular these days, we uh, may have to go back to using the 34972 or maybe the 34980, the big brother, which does have 75 ohm switching in RF. Next card is the DAQM907A. This is the multifunction module. We had this one in the legacy systems. Uh, the 34907A is also a multifunction module and they're very similar. It has two 8-bit digital ports, which you can use for uh, input and output. And they have a max voltage of 42 volts, where it's very handy for measuring status on uh, sensors and actuators uh, if you need a backup for that type of thing. It has a 26-bit event counter, which uh, is also 42-volt input and can measure uh, about 100 kilohertz of uh, bandwidth there. So two analog outputs complement the whole thing, which are plus and minus 12 volts. So if you needed to drive uh, a uh, output, then you, you have that. You also have a current output of 40 milliamps. So you could actually drive uh, 4 to 20 milliamp uh, current uh, outputs. The next card we have is the DAQM908A. This is a 40 channel unit, so it's a lot denser, so a lot more bang for your buck, if you will. But you have to realize that there's a common low on all the channels. So it's only a one wire switching. So this would be good for uh, like signals on a UUT that are all referenced to the same ground, like five volts or 10 volts or 12 volts or something like that. And you had a lot of different test points. This is a great uh, uh, scanner for that type of thing. So um, there's no four wire measurements in here because again, you've got one side of the, e all the relays is, uh, is, is set to low. Or, or common ground and uh, there is no reference junction so you can't measure thermocouples on here and you probably wouldn't want to do that anyway. Now we have a new card on the scene this is the new DAQM909A which there's a promotion for currently. This is a four channel digitizer with simultaneous sampling very different from other traditional uh, cards that use the internal DAQ uh, 970 and 973 internal DMM. This one has its own digitizer. It's four channels, but it's very, very fast. So all of the preconditioning and sample and hold and measurement is all done on this card. So you've got a very, very high uh, digitizer with a speed rate of 800 kilosamples per second. Pretty good. 24-bit resolution, which is huge, with differential inputs. A great new card from Keysight. Um, it's a uh, super high performance and it's good to see in a little system. And last but not least, we have the, the newer uh, DAQM 900A. This is a 20 channel multiplexer, solid state. So you have some higher speeds here, 450 channels per second with good voltage, 120 volts, uh, which is, you know, probably these are FETs that are, that are doing the, the multiplexing here. Um, so you have a good bandwidth, 10 megahertz, and there's a cold junction reference in case you want to use thermocouples and not use uh, a switching card. It does have a larger thermal offset, but if you're at a lack and you need to fit a couple more thermocouples in the system, this would be a good place for it. Uh, the DAQM 900A. So here's a summary of sensors and the best cards that you want to use for those sensors. So for thermocouples, you want to have the low thermal offset. So the, the winner in this category is a DAQM901A. Um, but if you don't need that absolute low, low, low thermals, you could use the, the alternatives, which would be the, the DAQM902 and the 900. RTDs generally are need four-wire switching. Uh, some RTDs are three-wire. Of course, you still need four-wire switching for those. So those cards would be the 901 and the 902. And if you do have a two-wire RTD, you could also use the DAQM 908. 
The misters, on the other hand, only need two wires of measurement. Uh, a standard resistance measurement is sufficient to measure the misters. The misters typically have around a 5,000 ohm uh, resistance, and they work um, just fine with um, regular DMM measurement. So you could use the DAQM901A, the 902A, or the 908A. For more information on the DAQ970 series from Keysight, contact your local electorate representative or use the email and phone number at the end of the video. Thanks for joining us today with Tech Talk with ER.